bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. It's an exciting day, and I'll tell you for why. Because we have a new goose joining us on the haunted table. Well, not a new goose, an existing goose, but let's just say they have finally arrived. Now, you will recall that there was um, a mix-up and it was entirely my fault uh, because I borrowed Danny's minifig in order to, uh, 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 to, to play the part of Sharon Renzulli in Jordan's opus, uh, the Doctor Who and the Time Crystal. And uh, I felt bad about this, and so I took it upon myself to uh, make make up a Sharon Renzulli minifig. And I can't tell you the, the pleasure I have in now presenting her to the haunted table. <coughs> Please welcome Sharon Renzulli. Oh, oh. I mean, what? Oh no, what? No, no, oh, that's, uh, that's not my sound. Uh, that's uh, old squeaky bricks. Uh, don't like French, uh, don't like French. No, please press the correct button. Yeah, thank you, there, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, would you just like to turn around, uh, Sharon Renzoli? Yeah, I'll, t- I'll turn around for you. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll turn around, I'll turn around. Oh, hello. Hello, Sharon Renzuli. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Sharon. Sharon Renzuli. Look at the little R on your jacket. Oh, good God, I love you. Uh, right, okay, crest forth, please, uh, to the bleachers. Yeah, I'm Kristen Forth. Ah, I'm Kristen Forth. I'm Sharon Renzuli. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Kristen Forth. Yeah, she's Kristen Forth. She's Kristen Forth. She's Kristen Forth. To the bleachers uh, you go. I'm going to have to find a spot for you, Sharon Renzilli, so you can stand. Stand. If- oh, no, wait. It's your first day, so you get to go on the cloud. So uh, let's... Uh, all the minions are lying face down. Off you come, Matt Barnes. On you go, uh, Sharon Renzulli. Very pleased. Very pleased with her, aren't you? Look at the tremble on that, will you? Look at the tremble! Uh, first day on the haunted table, and there she goes. Uh, <coughs> Matt Barnes, put you there for the time being. Super, right. Without further ado, let's uh, crack on with. Oh, oh, well, wait, no, wait. Sorry, we've got to do the. We can't do the knoll yet. We've got this to do. I'm over here. Sorry. Right. Number two. Here we go. Oh, oh, this is good. We've got a mini fig. Oh, that's exciting. Wish I could open it. Ay, caramba, come here. That's tougher than metal. Come here. Let's release the mini fig. I'm so pleased with the show in Zuni. I think Jessica Pugh is up next in terms of who's arriving on the haunted table. Um, <clears throat> you've been ordered, Jessica Pugh. Uh, you're very much on the way. Oh, will you look at that for a jumper? That's super. Um, that's a good head. Oh, look, he's got tremendous eyebrows. Oh, I was liking that one, but look at those eyebrows. I might have to turn around. I might have to have his thick, amazing eyebrows on. Oh, no, I can't get his head off. Don't look. Because that's a look, isn't it? Oh, right. Hair on. What's your name? I think you're, I think you're called Terry. Hang on, where did this come from? I don't know. Um, and he gets a wrench. Oh, you're marvellous. All right, there we go. We've got our first minifig. We'll call him Terry. 
I'll move him over there. Thank you. Right, that's that. That's the advent done. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. So without further ado, we will now do the knoll. Righty-ho, uh, we have a magnificent minifigure today. Probably, I would say, argue the best of the pack. Uh, it's Captain Redbeard. He's got a peg leg and he's got a hook for a hand. I mean, that's already tremendous. Uh, so Captain Redbeard was once captain of the great ship, uh, the Black Seas Barracuda, an infamous uh, pirate. He is uh, Redbeard and his crew sailed the seas from Rock Island Refuge in search of, in search of treasures stolen by mighty Imperials. He was feared by his enemies and admired by his friends, very much like uh, a Graham Triggs, I imagine. Um, and Redbeard was a legend among all seafaring folk, a pirate pioneer. Redbeard paved the way for the pirates who came after him. It was said that Long John Silver stole his wooden leg idea, Captain Hook copied his missing hand, and Blackbeard was inspired by his lustrous beard. Wow, what a, what a, what a guy. What a guy. Um, anyway, there he is. What a tremendous minifig. Uh, Captain... Uh, Captain Redbeard, welcome to the haunted table. Arr, arr, arr. Are you looking forward to uh, anything in particular, uh, Captain Redbeard? I'm looking forward to catching up with me old pal, Tim Goff. Sorry? Tim Goff, me old pal, Tim, Tim Goff. Arr, arr, arr. Uh, yeah. All right, thank you. Interesting. 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 I mean, I, I make no comment, but uh, other than to say, interest. How in? How interesting that a notorious pirate should uh, be looking forward to catching up with Tim Goff. It's it's in. I mean, it's interesting, isn't it, everyone? It's just interesting. Ah. Uh, Okay, I'm just, whoops, getting back to where we need to be without knocking over little Sue's cafe. Uh, uh, please be careful of my cafe. Yes, I'm being careful of your cafe, don't worry. I'll move this over here, there we go. Um, right, now, what's happening? Over to the, uh, the Google eyes. A Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. He says, "Hang on, please." He says. Um, he says, uh, Can you put myself and the tardies next to the elf clubhouse, please, Mother Goose? Um, I've, d I've done it already, Jordan. Uh, I'll give you a little pan across there. Look, done it already. Done it already. Uh, so, that's that. Satisfied. I knew you'd ask. It's almost as if I know you, Jordan. Um, Eric. Eric. He's got a duck of fares, yo. He looked like working Lego. And they really like 
Musicals, his name is Eric. Bo bo bom, uh, he says Penny Downs theme tune should be the tune of Penny Lane. Oh, here we go. This, of course, is as sung by Eric Oswald. Penny down, she is a grandma and she loves Lego. And her grandson loves the Lego just as much. Oh, gosh, I hope that sticks. I hope I remember. Let me have another go at it. Penny Down is a grandma and she loves Lego And her grandson loves the Lego just as much Oh crumbs, I hope I remember that um, But that is tremendous, thank you, well done Eric <coughs> uh, Jordan, look, it's our, it's our old pal the map here Let's just take a moment to acknowledge it Hello old pal the map Hello old pal um, Jordan says, "Restar Wars special editions." Uh oh. I I knew this would I knew this would rumble on. It was it was it was inevitable. Read the Star Wars special editions. I'm only going to focus on the original trilogy, as they are the most affected. 1995 was advertised as the last time the original trilogy was released with no changes. 1997, the first special editions were released. This release featured the first significant changes which were intended to prove that industrial light and magic could effectively produce CGI visual effects for the prequel trilogy. 2004. In September, the original trilogy was released on DVD. Further significant alterations were made. 2006 in September, limited edition DVDs of the 2004 versions of the original trilogy were reissued. These contain the original and altered versions on bonus discs. These are the ones I own. 2011, the original and prequel trilogy were released on Blu-ray. Alterations were made to all prequel and original trilogy films, including the infamous change to the Han Solo first scene. Oh, the Han shot first scene. Three special editions all different from each other. Hang on a minute. I don't know about this Blu-ray Han shot first scene. What? 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 I mean, obviously, Jordan will tell me tomorrow. I mean, that goes without saying. That goes without saying, but that will happen. Eric says, I'm thinking the advent bit is some sort of signal. It looks like it's got a red and green light. Well, let's look at it again, shall we? I think it's, I think it's a boat. I think it's a mini, a mini police boat. That's my guess. But it could be a signal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your theorems. Um, you'll recall yesterday that I asked uh, what this was. What this was. I wanted your suggestions. Jordan has come up with quite a good one, I think. He says, wouldn't those little dots be a compass? Uh, yes, that's a very good idea that that would be a compass. Um, I will accept that. Hang on. Let's get them in the right way, shall we? Oh, look, this is a lovely thing we're making, isn't it? We thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Joe. Uh, she says, oh, elf me, please. <laughs> elf me. Come on, please, Emma. I want to be elfed up real bad. Elf me, please. Oh, oh, Emma, can you even believe that, that, that Gillian B said elf me because it's quite funny, hasn't it? Yes, it is, little Sue. Yes, but I haven't got to you yet. Oh, little Sue, lutez-moi. En français, la petite Sue, lutez-moi. Luton, moi, please. 
Elf me. Elf me real bad. Okay. Right. Come on then, Gillian. Oh, now, just now, as as with Ruth Hayes, please. Uh, look away. Look away. Uh, I'll tell you when to look away, Gillian. I'll tell you when to look away because you you are going to have the hair ripped from your head. Right. Look look away now. Look away. Look. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Don't look. Don't look. Don't look, please, Gillian. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, hats on. You can look again now. I'm just sorting sorting your ears out. It's quite hard to work out which way this goes on, to be honest. Oh, Gillian, this isn't. Oh no, that's that. That's not what we wanted, is it? Got it on back to front. There we go. Gillian B, you have been uh, elf. De Luton moi. Ooh, I'm all Lutoned. I'm really loving being an elf. Thank you, Emery. Uh, thank you. I'll go back to the bleachers now. Can I crest forth? Yes, you can crest forth. Um, where is... Where's Ruth Hayes gone? Where is she? Gang, where's Ruth Hayes gone? Oh, she's over there. She's in the temple. With uh, the temple of Anubis. Phew, that was a panic. Um, right, uh, Eric. Uh, power was out for seven and a half hours yesterday during the snowstorm. Oh my goodness. Uh, you had a snowstorm, Eric. Massive snowstorm. Um, sorry, fruity burp during this. During, oh, mm, that didn't. Oh no. Oh no. Please, someone remind me to check the, check the batteries on that. Um, was miserable. No heat. Couldn't cook nor make tea. But the worst. Couldn't watch today's build until almost four p.m. A foot of snow so far. We'll post pics and videos on the Twitter. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, there's nothing worse than being cold and, and feeling miserable and not being able to warm up. I hate it. Horrible. Um, this is going on here. Look, this is rather... I wonder if we may... I wonder if this is Redbeard's uh, cabin. It sort of feels like that's where it's going, doesn't it? Um... Right. What's going on there? Oh, I think we're off to the Twitter eyes now. Uh, Twitter, 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 Oh, by the way, I had, I think I had a message from, um, Dame Dolly, which, um, I seem to have erroneously failed to, uh, photograph. I'm so sorry, but I do remember it. So come on. <laughs> you sorting out your norks? That yeah, I'm sorting out it. <coughs> yeah, chest, you're chesty today. Yeah, it's cold in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's cold in here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just want to say that uh, you've been getting the last three notes of that blinking song wrong every single time, and it's sort of making me. I uh, want to help you to be nearer to your God. Do you, do you, do you get my drift? Well, the thing is, uh, Dame Dolly, is that if I'm getting the last three notes of the song wrong, um, then perhaps you'd like to sing them to me um, to uh, put me right. I don't do. Singing. Thank you. Well then, I can't. Don't know what to. Don't know what I can say then. <sighs> don't know what I can do for you. Um. <clears throat> uh, Eric says uh, this is a message to Tweedle Mandy. She said he says in our family growing up the word was furble, furble. It was a word my father made up for fart decades ago. My family still uses furble. Uh, to this day, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear. Adjudication. Mr Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Alex with Bricks. Well, we all saw this coming, didn't we? This, this was inevitable. Um, good luck, studio. Good luck. Good luck to everyone concerned. Good luck. Good luck. But here it comes. Adjudication. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Still waiting for the shark cage containing Prof Jackie and the shark. Yes, I'm sorry, Mr Graham Triggs. I, I will make it. I will endeavour to make it today, sir. I will endeavour to make it today, sir. But I can offer you up Afawakatras uh, until it's done. Uh, as for Eric Oswald, he can be suspended over it like it's a Bond film. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's a challenge. OK, all right. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Um, here's a picture uh, from Eric. Fazio in the snow. He loves it. Uh, we have had about a foot of snow so far. It's 4 p.m. my time and it's still going. Uh, that is Fazio. It's not a poo. That, I repeat, that is Fazio. Fazio, a dog. And it is not a photograph of a poo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, Graham Trigg. Graham Triggs has a request for Graham Trigg Sings. Let's go. Let's go. Coffee is brewing. Coffee is brewing. Coffee is brewing. To the tune of Sharon Renzulli. To the tune of Cagney and Lacey. Thank you. Well done. Well done, sir. Well done. Well done. Let's see, he's... He, he's it's, it, he can be in a good mood sometimes. It's really tremendous. It's a sharp thrill whenever Mr. Graham Triggs is in a good mood and is, is feeling benevolent. Oh, I wish that would go in. Oh, it did. Oh, now then. This is good. I did not see this coming. Oh, I love it when things just creep up on you. Look at this now. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah, turn that round, turn that round now. It's quite a lot of Twitter eyes to get through today, I think. I saw a lot of messages there, a big number. Uh, but look at that, uh, look, look at that for a rather tremendous armchair. That's rather good, isn't it? We've never seen one done like that before. Yeah, look. Look, it's it's de it's de it's it's defo old. Oh, I see. Oh, and that gives that a bit of swivel. Oh, that's rather good. Yes. All right, acceptable. I was one. I was thinking that that was a waste of one of those bits, but it's not. So that's fabulous. Um, <sighs> Eric Oswald, snow pig from around six thirty a.m. That's a street lamp through the trees lighting uh, the still snow-covered road. Oh, look at that. Oh. I mean, I know it's been an absolute ache for you and, and horrible because you've had no heating. But gosh, I mean, oh, what a lovely thing. Yes, Frosty Rosie, Rosie Lee, says, oh, wow, Eric, that is a lovely photo. Um, ah, Graham Triggs uh, has an, an answer for us as to what this is. Um, he says the Advent Build is a micro ocean exploration ship. Ah, six oh two six six, ocean exploration ship. Ah, Lego City, or series. Um, so Bevis, m m m Bevis, the sensei, I'll go strawberry. The mooning mini, the matter at the little whisper. <laughs> Says, uh, not, not a police boat then, but, but is that the very shark that the prof selected as the zenith of Lego sharks? Yes, I do believe that it ha that set has has the, the the ultimate shark in it, yes. Um, now, I'm not sure we've had this bit before, but I might be wrong, but in case we haven't. Look, have we had that before? Have we? It feels like we should have, and we probably have had, but I can't remember. I might just pull this here. It gives me a bit more space. 
and it centers me up nicely. Now, will you look at that for a lovely head of hair? That, it, it, one of the things actually, when you're doing the minifigs over at minifig.com, when I'm making them, is sometimes, and I've had requests, I have had a couple of requests for white hair, but they, do, they, they don't really do them. They're, they're, the white hair on there is not good, but that is a tremendous mullet. That's a tremendous hair. Mm, might use that one day for something else. That's going there. Anyway, it's a bust. Um, Eric, video of the snow, late afternoon. I think we've gotten <gasps> maybe 10 to 12 inches so far. And it's not supposed to stop until tomorrow morning. Holy hell. I would have loved it if we hadn't been without power for seven and a half hours. Oh, no. Rotten. Thank God it's back on now. Fozzie, will get back in here. We've got to warm this place back up. Come on. Oh, Fazio. Oh, Fazio. Oh, we love Fazio, even if he did look like a picture of a poo. Um, Graham Triggs, Advent calendars open. Must be time for Christmas carols. Oh, here we go. He's in a good mood today. Ding dong merrily on high. In heaven the bells are ringing, ding dong verily the sky is riven with angels singing, Gloria, Hosanna in Rex Elsie. What? 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 I, I'm... I I'm, I'm actually shocked to my core. I'm actually, I'm actually shocked to my core. What do we do now? What do we do now? We can't ask the, the VAR to adjudicate against himself. What is going on here? What is going on? It, it's, it's anarchy. Anarchy, I tell you. Oh, you, got, you got me good then. Uh, you got me good then, uh, Mr. The VAR. Uh, I'll give you that. He got me well and good. Um, John Perry, uh, talking of miscreants. Oh, it's a it's a compass. Uh, hashtag, it, it's a token. Uh, a devil's chat hole. Actual tears. Uh, how do the twins have so many amazing stories? Uh, I have no idea. Ah, oh, there's a poll. Super. Uh, professional hacker. Would we like Pooh Bingo during Life and Breaking the Saturday? Uh, in... Uh, joint second place with only 16% of the vote. It's push poo bingo off live and breaking. Or no ping boogo. No, no pin, no, no pin boogo. Interesting. No poo bingo this month. But in first place with 68% of the vote. It's yes to poo bingo. Uh, yes, super. Um, uh, yeah, Bevis then asks, uh, assuming we are having... Uh, poo bingo which i'm sure we will can we have a list of poos and animals in advance again yes i will i will sort that out today um then he says the advent calendar build it's a little police boat well it's not it's not i'm afraid you're wrong uh, Bevis, uh which is a rare occurrence but there it is you're you're very very uh, very wrong oh sorry did i mention you're wrong Bevis? oh dear i mean you can, it's gosh Crumbs. I mean, I, I imagine that, 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 that people will gather around fires in the future and remember this day uh, when Bevis was wrong. Uh, maybe small children will start crying. Um, but people will generally remember that on this day, in the year 2020, Bevis Musson was wrong. Um, Bevis says, Penny, better be careful. Look at the way you've come from a Le Lego virgin to someone who spends more time doing Lego than anything else in just over a year. Yes, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, what are those round tiles with a compass printed on them? I think, and this is just a wild guess, that they might be, and hear me out here, I think they might be compasses. Rude! I mean, I couldn't, you can't quite tell. That, oh, yes, you can. Um. Yes, sir. 
Uh, then Boo says, hang on, how did they do physics experiments on you? Are you? I was regularly electrocuted. Did they use you to demonstrate inertia and gravity by throwing you off the top of the building? Because I think that might have, have been regular bullying, not experiments. Honestly, I mean, it was terrible. I remember one day I, I, was made to, I was made to sit on a bicycle for quite some time. I don't know why. It was a fixed one. Uh, let's see if I can get this round the right way. I mean, what are the odds? Place your bets. Sigh. Hmm. The attempt to clip the light onto the grabber that was the wrong way round, uh, as if your brain couldn't comprehend what was possibly wrong, just shows that experience is an overrated learning tool. Uh, then he says the light should be angled upwards too, just to bollocks it all up. Oh, this one. Oh, all right. Hmm. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, loving my elf hat, proper Christmassy now, although I kind of feel that Mike and Neil are a bit left out without hats on with me and Ruth now. Well, they haven't requested an elf hat, and if they do request an elf hat, then of course I will uh, accommodate the request. Uh, but these are on first come, first serve basis. Um, so there it is. I, I don't know if even Animation Putty will make elf hats sit happily on their heads, though. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I have ordered some more. Don't worry about the section today being loose on the hinge. Same for the section tomorrow. They both get clipped securely into place by the back section at the end. I mean, we don't know one understands what he's saying to us, but I suppose it will all come clear um, either later today or tomorrow. OK, carry on, everyone. Uh, John Perry, a lovely story, Penny. Uh, glad you finally got a set of your own. Uh, welcome to the gag. Hashtag Ethelwix forever. Um, Faye asks, Animation Putty, is that a fancy way of avoiding a brand name on a YouTube clip? Oh, it's almost as if you know me. Hmm, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We, we don't want any of that f flu back here. The, the two back. We, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no, there's no two black. Uh, no two black here. No, I, I feel as if I'm not really doing anything. I'm just chatting. Mm, it's not like you, am I? Shh, there's a lot of business I have to get through and I have to make it last. So, shush, you you try timing a build while dealing with all of your requests. Thank you. Thank No, you crack on. You have a go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> there's no point mumbling and moaning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Little Sue. She's called Little Sue. She's little. She's called Sue. It's Little Sue. Uh, uh, hello. It's it's very much me. A little Sue. La petite Sue. Uh, jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Just have a lovely ride with my poisson, poisson. Lovely, lie like Christmas. It is super. La 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 la. Please go me have some snow and then you can have frosted poisson, poisson. Do 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 do. Have you finished? Yeah. Yes. Um. Mm. Um. I've got something controversial to say. Really? What you you've got co something controversial to say? Yeah, yes, I'm all I have. And I think it might have to go to a Professor Lego pearl, please. But it's controversial. But if we play Pooh Bingo on the live and breaking MR. Sh shall we just do it for the glory and not have a prize please press the button well um this is always up for discussion uh, <laughs> frosty rosie says a uh, seconded john perry says uh, no not until i win um well we'll pass it to a professor lego uh, poll um you can either have a prize to win for the poo bingo um or not. R remember, remember, though, little Sue, the the uh, the the 
um, the Pooh Bingo win is o is prize is open to people who aren't gooses, so it's the only it's the only chance they have to win something, I suppose. Um, but entirely up to you. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind. I'll do either or. You know me. I'll just do as I'm told. So over to you. You can have a poll, please. Have a poll, Professor Lego. Have a poll. Have a poll. La la la. Um, uh, Frosty Rosie says, how cute do both Ruth Hayes and Bevis Musson look in their elf hats? Yes, she's loving the year. Uh, Bevis says, we're totally setting the latest fashion trend. Yes, I think you are, yeah. Uh, Tanya now dressed her, 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 says, I think there's a reindeer down. You were right, Tanya, uh, but the reindeer has now been, been, been rescued. It's been picked up. It's, it's up. It's rescued. We're fine. Uh, everything back to normal. Thank you. Uh, Frosty Rosie says, welcome, Penny. Congratulations on your first of what I expect will be many Lego sets. You have been warned. Uh, Kath Pearson says, welcome, Penny. So glad you can share your joy of Lego across the generations and now with us as well. Yes, 100%. Uh, Penny, uh, Tanya now just says, Penny's lovely email had me in tears. I'm so happy you've got your first set. Probably best start clearing a room. They have a tendency to multiply. Mm -hmm. Don't tell. I mean, tell me about it. I'm absolutely overrun here. I mean, to be fair, it things would be slightly better. Uh, will be slightly better when we've removed the the Pirates of Barracuda Bay from the haunted table. But I am I'm, I'm overwhelmed at the moment because I've, I've also got the Notre Dame. Look, I haven't been able to do a single a single thing on Notre Dame. That's underneath that bit of Barracuda. Notre Dame has ground has ground to an absolute halt. Uh, Ruth uh, Ten now dresses her says, "I'd love an elf hat and a nice warm waffle, please." Oh right, hang on. Right, come on, Tanya, where are you? There you are. There you are. Come on, Tanya, off the bleachers, thank you. Oh, I've just knocked over Wild Renaissance. Sorry. Um, Tanya, Tanya, don't look. Your, your hair's coming off. Oh no. Oh lord. Sorry, Tanya. Are you noticing how organised I'm being by keeping everyone's original hair in the bag? Otherwise there'd be some sort of awful shenanigan when we when we don't let me see if I can get it on. No, look, I can't. There we go. Tanya, will you look at yourself? Mm. Not sure those ears suit you. Okay, right, back to the bleachers you go. Thanks, thank you. Thanks very much. Is, is it supposed to be a New Zealand accent? Mm, sort of. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I know. Thing. I can only do an Australian one, sorry. Look, can I go back to the bleachers? Yeah, Chris Forth. Oh, Chris Forth. Thank you. Cresting Forth. Cresting Forth, back to the bleachers. Cresting Forth, Cresting Forth, Cresting Forth. <sighs> right. Um, Ruth Hayes says, oh, good to get the headphones off for a bit and let my ears have a rest. Thank you, Mother Goose, loving the new elfin look. Uh, oh, scrub down, scrub down. Hang on a minute. Uh, she says, oh, welcome, Penny. It's a bit wild here. Uh, you're going to love it. Well, we hope you do, Penny. We hope you do. Oh, what's happened here? I've missed something. Oh. Hang on, please. What goes on there? Right. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Just making sure I've got myself. And that's okay. Right, fine. Now I know where I am now. So that goes there. And that on there. Right, okay. Right, who's next? Uh, fr um, Frosty Rosie. Uh, devil's chat hole yes i knew that would be popular uh we need a tweedle twins lexicon yeah we do actually yeah we do uh, neil says a huge welcome to penny fantastic to have so many new gooses joining and what a story from penny but what a first set to own in the charles dickens book magic although slightly concerned the grandson owns half of the set hashtag heaven's network hashtag awkward conversations i think he's getting all of it um I don't. I don't think Penny's getting any of it, which is <sighs> makes me a little bit sad. 
Neil, a giraffe, a llama and two elves, the next blockbuster in the Temple of Anubis saga. Hashtag the Christmas special. I've got I've got to do your um, animation. Don't think I've forgotten. I'm rather overwhelmed at the moment uh, with things I have to be doing that aren't Lego related. I, I, know, I know it seems almost impossible to imagine that I have to do other things that aren't to do with Lego. But um, I have. <laughs> They're all very time consuming. But I will get to it. I'm I, I'm hoping I'm trying to decide when I'm prop when I'm breaking up for Christmas uh work wise. So I am doing some writing at the moment. Um uh, and I'm I'm toy and I can't decide whether I try and juggle doing animations while while still working or I wait until I've stopped working and then just blitz it in a day so for Christmas or something but um, I haven't decided what to do yet or what's for best it depends on how quick you want the animations if you want them quicker then obviously I will get on and try and find time to do them if uh, you want them for Christmas specials then they can wait a bit So let me have your thoughts on that, please, please. Uh, Ruth Hay says, enjoying Bevis's new headgear too, though he looks slightly squiffy. Mm. Well, it's almost Christmas, I suppose. That flame is still dangerously close to his skirts, though, which is making me nervous. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's very close to him. Oh, well. Um, Tanya says, uh, I just love his extra ears. Uh, which Bevy says, what do you mean extra ears? Those are my regular ears. Why do you think I have such a big beehive to start with? <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Uh, Tweedle Vaspusu. Tweedle Mandy Tweedle Vaspusu. They are twins and they love poo. Um, Tweedle Vaspusu. Vaspusu. Um, she says, this is Sheridan's. Oh, hang on. It pours out like an Irish coffee. Oh, good God. Tweedle Mandy didn't use glasses like that. I feel sure she used a dimpled pint mug the holiday home had in its random selection of glasses. <gasps> I've never had this. And now I look at it, it almost makes me want to try it. Wow! That, I, I don't even understand what that is. Uh, Tweedle Mandy says, I can't drink it anymore. Apparently a whole bottle in one evening is a smidge too much. What Tweedle Vaspusu didn't say is that I lost the use of my legs that night. <laughs> and it was like I was Bambi on ice when I tried to walk to bed. Uh, oh, absolute legend. Oh, uh, uh, um, I'd, like to say, to say, uh, uh, I'd like to say that when you said don't look through face, you're going to be bald. Yes. Well, I'd just like to say that I thought that 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 one leaked the internet yesterday. Please press the button. Um. Uh, and also, Emma. Yes. Um. P please, may I have an elf hat because I need to look festive for selling my first first festive. But poison, poison. Uh, so so please, can I have an elf hat, please? Right, okay. Please press the button, please. Right, come on, little Sue. Let's get you out of... Uh... Yes, I'm in here being very busy with my puzzle puzzle. Yeah, thank you. Um, oh, little Sue, I'm... I don't know how I feel about taking your your hair off. It, it, it may be quite traumatic, yes. I think, with, I think you might have to have a putty one. Hang on, please, little. I can't take. I can't. I can't do it to you. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't take your hair off. I can't. I can't do it, little Sue. I'm going to see what we look. What you look like with some with some putty hair. Well, yeah. Okay. We'll see what you look like with a bit of putty on first. Because I've still got a. I've still got a bit left, and there's more coming. So we'll just give this a go, and then we'll see what's what. Yeah. Please don't get it stuck on my hat. Well, I'll do my best, but, you know. Hang on. 
I don't want you to see this bit, little Sue, because it's not right. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, OK. Well, I, I'm going to say yes to this. Hello. Would you like a puzzle on puzzle? <laughs> yes, I'm going to say hello. I'm going to say yes to that. It has just momentarily fallen off, but it's back on now. Uh, yes, that's super. Thank you. Let's put you in there. I think the less touching it, the better. I mean, will you look at that, please? Yes, thank you. That's what we like to see. Good. Good. Right, that's that done. Um, I mean, obviously, little Sue, if you want your hair taken off and the hat put on your head, then that's something you can totally ask for. Um, we, I should say that to everybody uh, who, who, who wants the elf hat on. You can elect to have it without your hair or on top of your hair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Vaspisu says, ooh, please could I lie in one of the elf beds? Uh, yes. Oh, hang on. And Tweedle Mandy says, can I go in the elf house and use the telescope? Uh, secondly, you need to buy animation, but put yes, thank you. I have managed to do that. Thank you. Right. So, uh, Vaspu, Vaspisu, uh, come on. Let's go to the elf house. Let's take you both over there. Uh, right, swinging round. Swinging round. Um, Mandy, up here on the telescope. Arms up, please, Mandy. Thank you. Thank you. Right, you're there. Lovely. Having a go on the telescope. And uh, let's turn this round. Excuse me, Jordan. I'll just pop you there for a minute. And uh, Mandy, let's put you in the bottom one because I'm. There you are. Bot you're in the bottom bunk. Lovely. Right, there you go. Let me know when you want out. Voila. <laughs> the lengths I, I go to. I mean, seriously. Seriously. Is there any request that is, that is not dealt with? No, there's not. Well, apart from the shark cage, which I haven't dealt with yet. Shh. Shh, don't mention it. Uh, Mike, uh, formerly Toby Mori J. Kick up the wrong email. Uh, he says that hashtag Afwak Advent uh, day one on the Lego Harry Potter Advent calendar. You will remember he won it. They won this on the last Pooh Bingo. Uh, drum roll, pe please. He says it was a Harry Potter minifig dressed for the Yule Ball with his wand, an invitation to the ball, a little table, and a candle. Ooh, that's rather good, isn't it? Mm. Mm, you've done well there. That's a, that's a good. That's a good Yule Ball sticker. Uh, tile, I should say. Um, right, now, where am I up to here? I think I'm on a hinge. I think that's going, yeah, that's going there. Et voila. Let's just do a little bit of building, show willing, shall we? That's what we're here for, for goodness sake. Put that on that. And then there. Oh, I hope I'm looking at the right thing. What's happening here now? Okay, this. Oh no, wait, wait. I've put on the wrong thing here. It's the wrong thing, it's not that. It's this, with a grabber. Then that. Then that. Oh, I keep looking at it like that. It's slightly wrong. And then that goes on there? No, that goes there. Hmm, all right, yeah. Twitterize is not is not complete, by the way. I just think I need to do a bit of building here. A 
the words we should be doing nothing with our time which is not what anybody wants of course that's what people are here for they're here to see the building am I? full of I still have to think of what I'm going to build on live and bricking got no idea um, right bit more, bit more Twitterise uh, Mike, formerly known as Toby Moore, AJ, he got the wrong email. Uh, he says, oh, Penny, I nearly cried. I blame the emotional roller coaster of 2020 and not seeing our families. What a lovely story, and I absolutely love her. She is a very, very welcome addition to Team Afwak. Hashtag Afwaks forever. Uh, Ruth Hose says seconded. Uh, Danny says the third dead. Um, Mike, uh, formerly known as Toby Moore, AJ, he got the wrong email. Says Mother Goose, the person you couldn't see on yesterday's thread was Tweedle Mandy. Uh, she has a private profile now. What needs to occur? Uh, Tweedle Mandy, uh, Le Professor Lagout, uh, told me about my mystery padlock, but I'm a bit tech challenged and didn't manage to sort it out. I'll try again. Says, Oh, you're on pod padlocks again. Welcome back to the world of the scene. Uh, Tweedle Mandy says, I calmly followed the instructions Professor Lego kindly sent, and it worked this time. It doesn't take much to befuddle me. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, here we go, Dr. Jordan. Uh, <coughs> Jordan. Jordan. Pilot facts. Number three. The curse of the black spot. Right, is everyone sitting comfortably? Have you got a cup of tea? Are you ready? Because it's Jordan's, uh, it's Jordan's facts. It's time for Jordan's facts. Whilst researching this one, I was sorely disappointed. Oh. Oh. The black spot is a literary device invented by Robert Louis Stevenson for his novel Treasure Island. In the book, pirates are presented with a black spot to officially pronounce a verdict of guilt or judgment. It consists of a circular piece of paper or card with one side blackened while the other side bears a message and placed in the hand of the accused. It was a source of much fear, because it meant the pirate was to be deposed as leader, by force if necessary, or else killed outright. Oh, blimey, I hope I don't get sent one. The origin of the black spot might be in the historical tradition of Caribbean pirates of showing an ace of space to the person condemned as traitor or informer. The card was putting the person dangerously on the spot, as the ace bears a single pip. My disappointment lies with it's not actually being a real thing pirates did. Hashtag pirate facts. Oh, well, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry for you, uh, Jordan, but I still enjoyed your pirate fact today, so thank you very much for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's going in there. Yes. It is, and this goes here. Voila, that's not, that's a little bit insecure. Um, Danny, wah, wah, says, oh, Bevis looks fab. Oh, then we have evil Professor Lego. Da, da, da. <laughs> evil Professor Lego just says, can't be asked. Loving your work, evil Professor Lego. Uh, that concludes Club Business. Do, do, do. Evil Professor Lego. Da, da, da. Right, now then. Baboon. Baboon. He strikes fear into everyone. Evil Professor Lego. When will he strike again? Evil Professor Lego. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, squeak, squeak. Never mind. Don't hear. Then I 
I can't, I can't reach, I can't, I can't get up and reach. I just have to do it from over there, dog friend. It's me, me. Yeah, all right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Thank you, Dame Dawn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dame Dawn. Thank you. Loving her work. Tomorrow might be the last day on this. Uh, oh no, look, we've got this again. Now then, now then, is that right? No, I think it's that way. I think it's that way. Oh, have I got it right? Bevis light, Bevis, Bevis. Bevis light, Bevis, Bevis. Bevis light. Bevis light. Oh look, this happened yet yesterday. Just like that. Yes. And then this goes here. Lovely. Oops. I mean that's lo I mean this is such a lovely shape, isn't it? Such a lovely shape. This a little bed. Oh, yes, look. Oh, that I mean, that's that's super, isn't it? A little bed. Rather like the black and white stripes on it as well. Now then, how does this go on? It goes on here. Like that. Oh dear, look. Oh crumb. Oh look, I mean I've clearly missed out something here. So let's put that on there. Because that's obviously what's missing. Thank you. Um... Across there at a rate of knots. Okay. Now I've got two white flowers here. When did they happen? Hmm. I've missed out two flowers. Just have a look back. Where did they go then? Oh, I see. They went on the bust. Where are you, bust? Come here. They went here. Just the one. Like that. Back it goes. Oh, that's a lovely little room. Is it not? I see now what Bevis means about the, the flapping here. But that is a lovely little room. Other angle. Vice. Lovely. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, we have some golden epaulets. Mm. I mean, they... Oh, I know who needs to get them. I mean, they're, they're, there's no contest here, is there? Come forth, Mr. Graham Triggs. Come forth, Mr. Graham Triggs. I'm afraid I'm going to have to momentarily pull your head off, which I won't do on camera because I respect your authority. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let me put you back on uh, 
Barry Glare. Um, I mean, hello. Yes. Respect my authority. I mean, that just says respect my authority, doesn't it? Fabulous. Um, all right, lovely. Uh, come back tomorrow. And I think we will be finishing uh, the Pirates of Barracuda Bay tomorrow. And um, you'll be very pleased to know that Bevis is going to be supplying pictures for us that will be put in tomorrow's film, um, which will show uh, the, the wreck going into a ship. Uh, so that's good. So you will get to see that happening. Um, but anyway, come back tomorrow. FWAX forever. Bye-bye.